the gentle mentor. Man, so who had Bill Gates pegged for uh, the Antichrist? Anybody have you picked for that? I, I didn't. No, I mean, I, I mean, didn't my, dad, my dad would have. Today I'm like, oh, wow, what, Bill. What happened? What happened? I'm I'm out of the loop. Uh, it's just the, the whole thing that's kind of developing about what he's been up to for the last 10 years or so. Uh, like buying up farmland, that's, that's troubling. But this new uh, World Health Organization treaty that they're preparing to have all the leaders of the world sign effectively mm. will nullify our constitution really and they've already changed the law here so joe won't even have to go through congress he can just sign it and this is because of the world pandemic health. world health organization needs to be the new world health police and that's this is going to give them the power to step in and override your existing government Anytime they feel there's a pandemic, and they will be allowed to set the definition for what a pandemic is. So say, for instance, they decide cancer's on the rise in a specific area. They can declare that a pandemic and basically step in and lock down your country, impose masking, impose uh, vaccines and vaccine passports. Number one funder of the World Health Organization, mm. Bill Gates. I wouldn't suspect that. So if there's an outbreak of, say, halitosis, then anything they think, could think, completely think shut back, us down. Think back, if you can, one to two years when they were talking about racism being an epidemic. Mm -hmm. So they decide your state's racist, and they just come in and lock you down. Right. And it overrides the government, and there's no recourse. It's legally binding. For what good that is, I mean, you can legally bind it so far. I, I, well, I thought up until this point that eventually people would have had something of a fill of what's going on. But now I hear them talking about this pandemic this summer and how the sur it's going to surge again and we're going to have to lockdowns. And this whole thing now, <clears throat> in addition, World Health Organization usually requires 18 months to review something before they enact it. They've cut that down to six months for this. So if this goes according to their plan, this will all be in effect before the next election. Wow. We will be under a one world government. So they didn't need to steal all the elections. All they needed was that one. And they put their guy in and he doesn't care that he's going to get impeached because before he does what's not been sold, he's going to sign away. And America is no more. It's just gone. Bill Gates Antichrist, Zuck, false prophet, the guy who's trying to bring religion in and take religion over on his social media platform. Yeah, yeah. So all we got to wait and for Musk. now and is Musk. to figure out who the beast is. Well, it's Elon looks like he might back out of this entire Twitter thing. Back they out of him, it? They got him scared, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Is he going to sell it? He, he makes a profit off of it. Nope, he went, uh, he made a post last week, week and a half ago, maybe it was when we talked the last time I about if I, if, I, if I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been fun. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that was in our, that was in our last episode, because I actually put that picture of that tweet yes. in the episode, yep. so, I mean, it'll be the, it's the last one that I've made, it'll be, it's like a month away, it'll be up, well, this will all be, this will all will have happened by then, maybe. <laughs> Um, we're so topical. sure enough, we will get to the point where we predict the second coming and the tribulation, but yet it won't come out until the tribulation starts. <laughs> That's just like, the way our like schedule is. After, all hey, guess schedule what's going to, oh, yeah. oops. Hey guys. <laughs> and then off we go. And the people will be like, ah, those guys told us. Nobody's accusing us of being false prophets. We'll wait no, the day after. No, we'll be gone. <laughs> Bye. <you> so. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's uh, uh everybody. Oh, we have thought... a major crisis on our hands. Well, Bill Gates is a very here's... serious threat, not just to the world, but to the economy. Also, world peace is beginning using a loophole that allows the health organizations to appear to be government agencies, but not independent, have been actually controlled by Gates. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Well, I guess Buying I'll start. Buying up farmland, uh, just... burning down food processing plants, creating shortages. 
I guess I, uh, I'm in a pool. I should have started digging a hole. For everybody who has said, well, but we can't be sure. Lots of people thought they were in the last days. Guess what? <laughs> it's, will this be enough to convince you? Are we still going to do the, but who Man, knows? I don't know. But who knows how long that. it will take? I've been hearing that since I was five years old. We're in the, living have, in the last days. How this, long are the last days? How many days are there in the last days? Ever since days? Jesus left. Thousands. Until he comes back. It's the last days. Aren't but all this, the days part this, of the last this days? Oughta, this ought to this oughta tick a few more boxes. Okay. <laughs> Some substantial boxes. I agree. I I agree. This is... Uh... I think that's what the whole... The, 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 the building of the stress... And the building of like inflation and the pressure and all that stuff is going on. It's to create that atmosphere of anxiety, you know. And when people get scared, that big mama government comes in. Yeah, brother. <laughs> a lot more appealing. People are a lot more willing to go along. And so they're draining resources off of everybody right now. And they're going to make but, everybody in a situation where they have to be sustained by the government. You're going to be yeah. dependent on the government. That's the plan. It's out in the open. They don't even care. It's been out in the open for 30, 40 years now. They oh, don't care course. because everybody said, oh, conspiracy theory. Now we're going to call them spoiler alerts. Instead of conspiracy theories. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh, man. That's yeah. craziness, man. Yeah, this is, this is going to unwind right right in front of us over the next, so, like I said, so, between now and the next election. Things are going to get super spicy. So what do we do? What do we do? What can we do? <laughs> this is my answer. That's your answer? I don't, that's, I, that's what I'm I doing like about it today. Not, that's what I don't I'm doing feel about like it today. That's, I don't feel like that's the wisest of course of action but no i'm not really sure but you know every great plan starts with some great drinking that's my <laughs> well you got a point there i don't know is someone prepared you know Rand paul stood up the other day when they tried to pass the 44 billion dollar ukrainian new more money for ukraine thing mm -hmm. and stopped it and he was the only one that stood up but i'm like if one person can stop this why doesn't someone stand up and do it? You know, they're getting ready to give control of our country over to Bill Gates. <laughs> they're, 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 many of them are complicit. I mean, that's, that's got to be understood from the beginning. Man. This didn't happen because he did it in a vacuum. People are, people are well into helping him out. That's why nobody cares. I tell, you, I tell you what the problem is off, off the very top. Come on. Here it is. And this is too many politicians utilize a Windows machine. Stop it. You got to stop. You got to stop. I can't you, be good. You, At this point, you got to figure you might as, you out might as well, the dirt. You might, you might as well. Yes, exactly. If he's got all the dirt, he's in control. So he's reading all the emails, probably. Yeah. He's seeing all the sites that they go to. He knows what they're into. He's got, he's got a, a collar on each of them. Going, oh, you don't do what I say. I'm going to yank this chain back, and you're going to be in trouble. Elon has said the deal's on hold, and now it's unclear if he's trying to negotiate a lower price or if he's getting ready to bail on the whole thing. And it looks like somebody got to him hmm. and said, you ain't buying Twitter. You buy Twitter, you won't live. Because <laughs> he looks like he's pulling out. He keeps exposing stuff about him. Yeah. But... Jeez. It looks like it might not happen. And it's just like, oh, man. So I watch, I watch Jimmy Dore. I always tell you about Jimmy Dore. Mm -hmm. and Jimmy Dore is a comedian who does news reporting on YouTube now because the media has become so unreliable. He is a avowed, like, socialist leftist. Today, I watched him do the report on this story. And mm -hmm. he said, now I understand why they went after Trump so hard. He's the one guy that might have told him no. Yeah. And I'm like, for oh, sure. Oh wow. Yeah. So Biden's that just guy's, a, that guy's all the way left, man. And he and just so Biden's died. just a puppet for this, right? He's just the he's the the front man. Mm -hmm. Someone else is the ventriloquist, and he's just oh the, for sure, not, not for sure. which we all knew. Yep. We all knew there was something, and they got Kamala underlying. to back up. 
and they got right. Nancy and backup behind that. So don't think like you know getting rid of one of them is going to help. Yeah, because there's just another one ready to step up and take their place. Yeah, yep, just like that. Because nobody was watching. And again, that's part of that ongoing stress and everything. It made everybody tuned out on the news. Everybody was real into it. Everybody got burnt out. And now nobody's paying attention and all this stuff's going on. And it's like the distractions. That's what we talked about last time. All the distractions. Yeah, we did. The, bread the and distractions. Circus. What are they distracting us from? Ah, found it. The truth. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and right beside the World Health Organization supporting this move of theirs is, is the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. So the money. Yep. So, so what, the, what they're laying out now that the uh, World Health Organization wants to do when they step in is pretty, let's call it authoritarian, in, in some really heavy ways. Like they're going to decide what medical treatments and procedures are okay for you including mandating them you know if they feel hungry or something you know you say here. something they don't like then they shut off your bank account and your access to food you know it's just there mm -hmm. it, it'll be absolute tyranny they will have in total power yep. i mean they'll still have to enforce it and that's where things will become really sticky is the first time they actually try to land like a bunch of u.n troops and enforce this the sad thing that, that really angers me about this is that's what it's going to take before the general populace of the United States of America step up and say something or well, do more something. Likely. More than likely. It's just we're, we're, we're all so complacent and compliant. Everybody's so burnt out, too, after and all the, you know, the oh, pandemic compliant. and all that stuff. Yeah. The election, yeah, the racism. Everybody's kind of zombified about the whole news cycle idea. Right. Mm. Well, and here's here's something else too that I've been noticing too. Everyone is everyone is kind of um, internally focused right now. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, another organization that we're very familiar with, church. <laughs> we're very internally focused Shots right fired. now. We're we're focusing on mental health now, now i'm not saying these things are bad i'm just saying this is what we've we've completely we put the blinders on and so we're focused self-care self we're focused on uh my job i don't i don't want to work more hours i want to work at home and so it's all about me 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 um you know we're we're getting products shipped to our home because we're shopping online we're not going out blah blah, blah. so we're all we're just kind of enclosing ourselves mm. in this little these little social cubicles then, yes, yes. Yes. And then what's happening out there is we're like, and some, and a lot of us are just like, oh, I'm not going to watch the news. I'm not going to listen to the news. Oh, I don't yeah. hear it. That's how and, I've been. I was, right. And like I've been said, the same way that, too. It's that saturated burnout thing that happened, you know, it is back yeah. in the day. And that's, like I said, I'm like, wow, how sinister a plan is that? I mean, how far it's diabolical. you got to be thinking? Ooh, <laughs> nice, nice word selection there. You yeah, like that? It is. <clears throat> it is. Yeah. It is. It is diabolical. It's, it's and scary. yes, but how? It's almost. It's almost unbelievable. Mm. How. How. Um, how this is working out in such it, the plan and the steps and the actions and the things are just panning out the way that it is. It's like, what else is at play here that we don't? Hmm. now and now and i'm i'm all for like you know there's demonic forces out there i'm all for that but even even he's in the sense that you believe there. in it not in, in the, the sense that, that i know that they're side. out yeah, there okay but i don't i really don't have i don't know that he is that smart and intelligent to create a plan like that he's a perverter so he perverts things takes things that are already done and perverts them and twists them but it's almost like did they come and build the pyramids? And then they're like, we're coming back later because you owe us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's almost like. Oh, yeah. That, well, it's that's, almost that's, like that's, that's really that's weird. The final, that's the other thing that was in the news yeah. today that nobody noticed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I didn't I, I've already told you before, I think that's the final play. That's that the, the Pentagon came out with more footage today that they can't offer any explanation about. 
Oh, oh really? strange flying objects. Uh, I'm also interested in this. Where is this footage at? It was on CNN. Man, those guys are handy. <laughs> are they? They're always right new, where the pe- always right new, where the people with the story to tell need them to be. New Pentagon UFO photos. Uh, oh, here it is. Three you are three hours ago. Pentagon releases declassified UFO footage. Sorry, you want me to share my screen and see what I'm seeing? You can if you want. It'll save me editing it in later if, I, if we do anything. It's just all so, it's, it's, yeah, it's almost unreal and it's funny and it's scary and it's it just is. like, wow. It is. Did you share sound? Do you love you boating? You did? Cool. Well, Freedom Boat Club do you love boating? Easier than I do. do you like it's my favorite. Motor boating. Yeah. That's my favorite. Chairman Carson, Motor boating. <laughs> committee members, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today to highlight the ongoing work of the Department of Defense uh, regarding unidentified aerial phenomena. Since the early 2000s, uh, we have seen an increasing number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft or objects in military controlled training areas uh, and training ranges and other designated air. Why do they always ha- happen mostly in military training areas? Reports of sightings are frequent and continuing. We attribute this increase in reporting to a number of factors, including our work to destigmatize reporting, an it's increase in the number of new systems such the, uh, as quadcopters and unmanned vehicles. Definitely not because occasions are on the rise. It's <laughs> not because of that. No, it can't be. That can't people be are seeing more. People know it's safe to report it now. Everybody's got a cell phone and they can take pictures. Sorry, I didn't mean That's to right. interrupt. No, 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 no. This, this is what we do. We we okay. uh, we we are commentaries of life. This, re, this is re, what we do. Relaunch. Relaunch. Okay. Real systems that are in our airspace. Uh, identification of what we can classify as clutter, mylar balloons, and other types of uh, of air trash. Clutter. Air and trash. Improvements clutter. in the capabilities of our various sensors to detect things in our airspace. Wait, that's Almost two insulting. years ago, in that's August what they call me on the airplane. Air, defense, North- air, air clutter air or trash. trash. Air in trash back. in the back. Air Wait a minute! Trash. I thought didn't we didn't we ban white trash? Is white trash recently banned? Is it is it like the is whole it, new? I was wondering the other day why it was. Somebody it. said something. Said somebody said something about it being yeah. You can't say white. And trash. I thought you know white. I I'm white trash and it doesn't bother me. To me, it's you know, the white. It's a white version of ghetto. And I think I, I agree. I know and, ghetto and listen, seems racist, listen, but I've always thought ghetto's kind of cool. <laughs> well, and, and uh, ghetto is not a. It's a locational thing, I think. It's based on, you know, well, anyway. You know, then then I think that, that brothers shouldn't call each other the N-word. I mean, they do all the time. Yeah. Right? If it's so, demeaning, it's say, demeaning no matter who says it. Right. When I say my family is white trash or I have family that's white trash, when I say, Doug, you're, you're white trash or you call me white trash, I, it should be okay, right? We should be able to do that, right? It's it's fine with me. But... Was directed the establishment of the unidentified aerial phenomena task force glasses. within the department. Yeah, uh, come on, come on. Stole those from Ben the Franklin. The task force was built on the foundation of the Navy's initial the Navy. efforts to respond to the reports from our aviators on unidentified objects observed in our training ranges. The basic issues then and now are twofold. Uh-oh. First, incursions in our training you ranges get many by folds outside the pulpit. represent serious no. hazards to safety of flight. In every aspect of naval aviation, safety of our air crews no way. is paramount. Second, Maverick said that intrusions by unknown aircraft or objects pose potential threats Twofold. to the security of our operations. Our aviators train as they would fight. So any intrusions that may compromise the security of our operations by revealing our capabilities, our tactics, techniques, or procedures uh, are of great concern uh, to the Navy and the Department of Defense. From the very beginning, we took these reports we might very seriously. Pictures of what some we instituted a data see the pictures of what we're doing. <laughs> what was that? What's that? I said you might. We're going to show you some pictures of what other people might be doing, but you ain't going to see no pictures of what we've been doing. And that's what he not. just said. Yeah, of course. That was my <laughs> my interpretation of that last 30, 45 seconds. Where we could collect as much data as possible and use all available resources to analyze and make informed decisions on the best ways to address our findings. Our main objective was to transition UAP efforts from an anecdotal UAP or narrative-based new uh, UFO. approach to a rigorous science UAP. and technology engineering-focused study. This data-driven approach uh, requires input from a wide <coughs> variety of sources. Uh, in the early stages, uh, the task force worked to standardize the reporting mechanisms and processes to make it as easy as possible 
uh, for personnel to report any engagement so that we were getting that wide range of reporting that we needed. We also spent considerable efforts engaging directly with our naval aviators and building like relationships Maverick. to help destigmatize. Yeah, feel free to fast forward to reporting anywhere where he's actually going to show the picture. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. <clears throat> the naval aviation leadership to provide. In short, and there's rarely blah, an blah, easy blah, answer. Blah, blah. For example, let in me short. share with you the first yeah. video. Oh, here we go. First video today, which shows an observation in real time. time. All right, let's have this look. Let's have it. And who's got the video? It's like church. It's dirty glass, dirty glass. There it was. That's, in many cases, that's all that a report may include. And in many other cases, we have far less than this. As we detailed in both the unclassified and classified versions of the preliminary assessment released by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence last June, this Doesn't often seem limited- very substantial, does it? No, I think there were other things too. Amount but... of high <clears throat> quality <throat> data uh, and reporting oh, hampers go. our ability to draw firm conclusions about the nature or intent of UAP. The stigma has what's, been reduced. What's UAP? Unidentified pollution? Uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. <clears throat> We've also made progress in resolving the character of a limited number of UAP encounters. For example, let me show yeah, you a couple please. of uh, another video this. and image uh, taken years apart this. in different areas. In this video, U.S. Navy personnel recorded what appears to be triangles, some flashing, recorded several years ago off the coast of the United States. This was recorded while the U.S. Navy ship uh, observed a number of small unmanned aerial systems uh, in the area. And importantly, the that's a really defined triangle, isn't it? Go <laughs> was taken through night vision goggles with a single lens reflex camera. These remained unresolved for several years. Okay. There's several. There's another one. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's next? Ooh, sound. <clears throat> Do they make sounds? They should make sounds over here. Yeah, Rogan had a guy on several years <coughs> later who was making a case that these a... uh, some of these might be high. What did he call them? Supersonic or hypersonic missiles? I, I, I don't think that thing was, but some he said some of the UFO sightings he thought might be hypersonic. Well. Yeah, but if, if these are videos from the DOD, they know if they've launched missiles. And that was off the coast of the United States, right? So, I mean, if the DOD is launching missiles, they, they can be like, ah, no, that's one of our test missiles. But if they're going, well, I don't know what this is, that's a little concerning, right? It should be. It, it should coast. be, but it's so hard to know when these personnel, guys are telling again, the truth and, and when they're lying. Of, because it's just true. part of the job is... Because, like because misinformation and disinformation are what keeps everything covered up. They right. don't tell you nothing. They tell you bits and pieces of the truth. And then they spread some fantastic stuff in there to, to yeah. like, keep it hazy. But anyway. And they're all using Windows computers, too. That's why. Dummies. See, and little systems. did they know. Again, little did we know what goggles. Steve Jobs had done and an SLR camera. Do you think, do you think uh, Gates had Steve Jobs camera. rubbed out? It's quite a possibility. Sorry. Because he did die of cancer. Yeah. And that's that's to blame. The who is to blame of that, right? More than the World likely. Health Organization. Yeah, it's cancer. They didn't they didn't classify that as a pandemic within Not the in time Apple. for him. <laughs> yeah, in time for him and quarantine him and put him on prescribed treatments and medication. See, what if the whole reason? Yeah. What if the whole reason? Because he said the whole what, thing what if, that motivated Steve Jobs was that he knew this is what Bill Gates was planning. Maybe so. Because what and did he that's say? why he invented the Mac. What did he say in 1989 in the Super Bowl? Or 1987? What did he say? Think different. That's what blew the whole thing up. There you go. And what did we... And what, the what rest did, is history. <laughs> And then what all of a sudden has the government done? No, 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 no. You can't think different. You must think this way. Mm. You must think abortion is a woman's right. You must well, think didn't that. They, was it them? <clears throat> I can't remember. I think it was Apple that did the, the 1984 commercial. 
that's it. That's it. It's the 1984 yeah. Super Bowl commercial. And the whole thing was think different. It was yeah. based on the, the 19, the, well, the movie 1984, right? Yeah. yeah. It was based on that whole what movie. If, yeah. What if that, what if that was an encoded warning? I, it, it totally could have been. Anything's totally. possible now. We're, could have been. we're in anything, anything's why, possible, Bill. Listen, why are Windows computers so much more susceptible to viruses than Mac computers? I mean, Macs are susceptible. Right. Well, but because Windows so much can't more. Do anything about viruses. <laughs> what if what if he wants there to be a virus on your computer so that he can monitor it better? It's so what funny if these are all, what if how, these are organizations to monitor your activity on your computer? Here's how Dr. Evil he's becoming. <laughs> <laughs> the gentle mentor.